are we get going so hi this is Dennis Wilborn with the active trend traders uh, I want to welcome you to the making money trading stocks options and ETFs um, going into 2019 excuse me that is right around the corner um, I'm going to adjust this to also make it uh, uh, trading stocks options ETFs and futures in a very limited amount limited limited uh, uh, um, amount, just uh, basically looking at some swing or, or longer term potential future trades that will give people opportunities to hopefully put a little bit more money in their pockets. Uh, I want to remind everybody that all the materials we do present are for training purposes only. Traders should always pay for trade any new method prior to the risk of their own personal capital. Past performance is not an indication or promise of future performance. Uh, a little bit about uh, us. I am so proud that my, my son Brandon has joined us. He's been doing a lot of uh, um, uh, stuff for us uh, from a marketing perspective and he's going to continue doing that. Uh, Brandon was working with me as a trader back when it, just after he got out of college. He spent a year up in Maine and then uh, up in Cas around Castine, Maine uh, when his brother was going to school at Maine Maritime Academy. And now he, when he came back, he started working with me with the market. And uh, he's a darn good little uh, uh, technical analyst on, him, on his own. And uh, plus, uh, kind of nice. I, I, I'm really pleased he's with us because it's going to make it where uh, he'll continue on. He will continue on. Take the, there we go. Uh, Good day. I'm experimenting a little bit with the uh, with the uh, um, the videos simply because I want to see what um, um, where the uh, uh, where the video shows up at, and I'm trying to still locate where can I put it where it will you know be out of the way. Uh, and so I'm just experimenting with a little bit, and uh, but uh, let's continue on, and keep us going. Uh, remember, dis discipline is a key that turns knowledge into wisdom. One of the things. So, what is the objective of the, to, you know today's session? One is timely actual intel review at the end of each week. You know what's the market doing? We're sitting there. You know the um, market review, and the next tra tradable balance is when. I was anticipating and trying to determine if you are a premium active trend trader, of course, you were in on uh, Wednesday night's training sessions. If you're a premium member and missed the training session on Wednesday night, I suggest please, um, please go um, back and um, review that. It's, it is, I think, some of the best training that, that we've provided in a while. And so uh, just to answer, you know, uh, Mark uh, said he drags his video up in the upper right-hand corner. Where are you showing the little picture of me right now on your screen? I'll let you respond to that. Um, because that's what I'm trying to, to figure out. Where can I get this? And I just noticed a thing where I can pin it. And I've pinned it to the midsection or right on the right hand side in the middle. And so bottom right hand corner. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, Charlie, I think everybody else is uh, receiving sound. Sound is working. So, okay, now I just, I just wanted to uh, double check on that. Let me see what. Let me get down into the. Okay, now that I've pinned it, I can't unpin it. Oh well. Okay, I'm going to be taking I'm going to be taking it off here shortly. But no, thanks a lot. That that gives me an idea of how to get the thing you know out of the way. Um, I want to show my face, but then I want to basically uh, uh, keep it out of the way of what we're presenting. 
So, okay, Mark, we'll do a quick move to it. You know, what's the tradable bounce when? We'll do a review on that. Uh, Upticking, one of the things that was very interesting was this little sell-off this morning. What's happened? Well, the, everything else is still up. Not much of a sell-off, but just be, be cautious of the Russell. The Russell did drop back below last year's high. And uh, uh, we'll see if that continues to melt off. Um, here's where we're sitting on the active trend trading. You know, I'm, I'm quite pleased. I'm really focused on trying to get strategy one and strategy two up and operational for the, uh, the rest of the year. And um, it's looking like we're gonna continue pushing towards our 40% for the year, which I'm very pleased with. Um, this week, what do we do? Had a uh, strategy three trade, lost a, just a little bit with Tesla on 210, uh, lost 3.5% on the LABU trade we set up. Uh, it just didn't bounce. I mean, it basically uh, rejected what was going on and uh, our, our entry yesterday and uh, our stop loss was hit with a gap down this morning. Um, on um, uh, BABA, we picked up $456. So uh, overall, been kind of just a, basically a flat week. Uh, with the elections and the, um, the Fed meeting this week, not too, un, you know, not too disappointed with that. I, of course, I would always like to have a more positive re, uh, return for the week. But, but that's, uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, November 3rd, we already did this meeting. We'll be doing another meeting in the first part of December. And then on uh, Wednesday evenings, if you're a premium member, you get the technical premium weekly uh, um, uh, training session. And again, uh, this past uh, training session, I think was really quite good. If you're a premium member, please stop in and see it. A couple other things I wanna highlight for everybody is we're gonna be start utilizing the uh, uh, Messenger and the uh, website. And this is my Facebook website, Facebook. You know, www.facebook.com at Active Trend Trading. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe to this. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm gonna be putting out more and more just live videos. And so if you're subscribed to it, you'll get a notification of when I'm doing a live video. They are very short. The, this one here was, uh, I think, about 45 seconds. And it was just to say, hey, you know, join us today for this session here. Uh, there will also be, we are in the process of uh, uh, getting it where we're going to have Messenger, uh, where we can actually send out alerts to people are, who are um, subscribed to the premium service, the BAM, you know, the BAM, the um, market action points, and that's going to be highlighted there. Uh, and if you do go to uh, the uh, um, uh, the Facebook website and you see a video, please interact with us with the messenger. Um, that that's one of the things that they determine to help. Well, um, how viable it, you know what we're doing is for them to be able to to promote the site. And so please like it and also uh, just uh, get some comments going. And, if you, and again, we're going to be doing a lot more communication with, with uh, uh, Messenger. And so uh, same thing on the YouTube channel. If, uh, you know, if we post, and I only post my free content on the, on the YouTube channel. Premium content, of course, is posted to the Active Trend Trading uh, website. Um, so... With that, so let's take a look at a couple of uh, entities. Let's see what's going on. S and P. Uh, I had uh, for the folks who were in with us earlier. Let's let's find out what S and P was doing. Let's remove that drawing. Move the fib, and uh, let's do some. Let's do a little bit of drawing on here for what I'm seeing going on. I wanted to see what would happen when. I was anticipating that that. We had a reaction, a thrust down, reaction back up into the eight day moving average, a thrust down, reaction back up into the eight day moving average. This reaction actually failed with the price action moving back above it to becoming, in a way, another, you know, more or less from here to here was, it would be kind of like considered an upward thrust. And so if that in fact is the, the 
trend reversal point, then we would anticipate this move here to be down somewhere between one third to two thirds of the move. So as I say, this particular move down, we, we it, you know, it is very clear that we have a, uh, a swing high here, a, a pivot point, if you will. We have swung back down off of it. We had a bearish Harami yesterday. We're moving back down. Look at that cluster. Okay, look at the cluster of moving averages um, that you, you know, that you see here. Um, we've got the 8, the 20, the 200, all coming together right there. Price action today is stopping right around there. However, what else do we have going on? We came, we are broke, we have broke, the price action has broke back down below the 50, the 34, and it appears as if, and, and basically has taken out the lows of these, you know, the, of that big large candle from two days ago. It's taken out that low. If we close the gap, pulling back down below these moving averages, then that would target us down. And somebody mentioned the 270 level. Yeah, that would be a, a uh, probably a pretty good, uh, uh, you know, level to be, you know, keeping our eye on. What is, what is the other... Um, uh, what is the other aspect of this? Throw a fib on this, and I'll blow this up, but just throw a Fibonacci on this and go from the bottom here up to back up to the high from either yesterday or the day before. Blow this up a little bit. So where is the 50% retracement? Well, 50% retracement is right there at 270.48, hey, let's just say 270.50 or 270. You know, actually, you could put a little gap around there. 271 to, two, um, uh, two, to 270 would be your potential target to the downside or to get into the, the FIB box here. The low side of it would be targeted at right there, about 268 or the 618 is at 267.96. So, those are the areas where we would anticipate a pullback or if this is going to turn out to be a bull flag rather than, or, you know, a, a reaction, a, a bullish reaction move, we'll move back down to approximately that, that magic fib box. If we break down below that, that, then we're going to be retesting back at the 265 level or maybe even back at the 260 level. Um, what would that tell us is that basically that would tell us that, okay, th that this was not a, was not a thrust move, that it was more or less a reactive move. We take out the 260 low, that would be a next thrust move down. The question we'll have going into next week is, do we want to trade this to the downside? I mean, we've got everything down below the uh, eights and twenties, or not, I'm sorry, not below the 820, but below the 50, below the 34, sitting right on top of the 820. If I move down between, below the 820, it may be one of those things where I, I could contemplate either trading the uh, inverse ETF down to the downside or to trade it up to the upside as this is falling. Um, but at this particular time, we, we really don't have, a, other than the bearish Harami from yesterday, and we're getting a follow through to day to day. So that, but it's follow through right to support. So we'll see if we bang around in here between the 23.6 and, and up here to the zero line, see if it bangs around in there, hits, it head, hits its head about the 278 level and then rolls over. You may wanna pop over to the, you may wanna pop over to the uh, intraday charts uh, because you can see here, the intraday charts sh sh show a level of support down here at 275, another level of support down here at about the 270 level. So those are levels where price action did pause in the past. We'll see if that continues to, uh, to do that. Let's so whip over here really quickly to back to the daily weekly. 
which of the um, indexes look best. Nice move, real nice move down on the, the, uh, the NASDAQ. I mean, it has sold off down below the 820 now. And so I would say it is suspect that this will dive even further. Where to? Eh, you know, test the 167 level. If it, uh, again, throw your Fibonacci on top of this and to see if, okay, if we take out that low there, then we're probably going to go to the 160 level. And that, <laughs> okay, thank you, Eric. You know, <laughs> it's the adjectives we use, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay, so that's what we got going on on, on the cues. And, you know, just take a, keep a look, keep an eye on this. Uh, it's one of those things, you know, we talked about this on Wednesday night. You get a thrust up, a uh, reaction down. That was kind of giving us a hint that maybe the 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 uh, uh, the Nasdaq was going to outperform. It came up here, rammed its head against the 50, the day on of the uh, uh, after elections on Wednesday, bearish harami, and a swoosh to the downside. Uh, where is this going to stop? Don't know. But we're basically, we can we can you know on a on a positive note, we know we've got strong support there at 160. If we get down to 160 and retest, and let's say that this the 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 TSI on a weekly chart kind of pops up a little bit and then kind of just stays where it's at right now, that would be a very positive. And if and if anybody missed the first move, because this is a heck of a nice little move, if anybody missed the first move, they'll get a chance for a second bite at the apple. IWM, again, IWM, IWM has been one of the weaker, you know, has been the weakest of the three tracking indexes. We've got the TSI turning over just shy of the 50. Uh, again, we can lay on a Fibonacci here. The kind of the line of demarcation on, on uh, the uh, uh, IWM is, let's pop this Fib in here. Okay, the line of demarcation, we're, we're getting close to approaching it very, very quickly. Let me blow this up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, as we see, okay, the, uh, uh, we're right at the, the uh, um, uh, 368 retracement. We have... Um, Basically, the 50% retracement is right there at what looks to be about, let me let's get a number on that, about 151. And the, and the 618 is down here at 149.26. And so it's at the top of the fib, fib box. TSI looks like it wants to pull down. And so the way we can interpret this is that if, if, We've got, you know, on a weekly chart, we've got it, we have a, a, a trigger to buy. However, in the posturing of this trigger, we may get some additional pullback to retest to kind of feel and see, is this the real reversal? Or is it going to go back down here to 145, retest there, and, and, and maybe even lower? What, now, you know, again, uh, I don't want to be shocking anybody, but but what would be a really pretty move between now and the next over the next oh gosh to about this if I just project down here if price action actually came back down dropped a little bit below maybe to the one two three six retracement and the TSI just kind of came down here to either the zero line or to the you know, just above the four, uh, negative 42 and puts in a positive divergence at this lower low, that would give us a good idea that, you know, this next move should be, you know, that may be the, the, the Santa Claus rally that we're looking for. So I'll leave that with you guys to, to take a, a, a second look at, review it over the weekend. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Um, 
I will throw out one thing at, uh, from the bonus side of the trades. Uh, there we go, remove that. Uh, we did do a bonus trade on LABU. It got whacked out. And I'll show you what I was looking at with this particular trade. Um, it too is now reversed down lower. What was happening with LABU is the, the one, two, three, four days, it was, it was respecting the eight day moving average. And so if that is something that is going to continue on into a longer term down uptrend, it should continue to respect the uh, uh, eight day moving average. As eight day moving average comes up, crosses, and we had a nice little upside move. So we bought in, got into a trade and it was bouncing off that yesterday about the 28.35 level with a given that if it breaks back down below this level and, and that level turned out to be the, the uh, uh, about 57, we gave it 20 to 30 cents on the bottom side of the eight day. If it drops to 57, get us out. And so that's exactly what our, our, our price action did uh, yesterday, it actually yesterday dropped up a little bit. I didn't want to buy a, against the 20 day moving average. I wanted to buy closer to the eight, which we did good with that. Uh, and then it gapped down this morning, gapped a little bit over our, uh, uh, stop losses. Uh, and, and, but it still was got, we got us out of the trade with about a three and a half percent loss, which is well within you know, our worst case scenario of uh, um, which we look at, we don't want to take more than a 5% loss. And so uh, now we just wait for this to reload uh, and see if we could, uh, uh, you know, see what happens when it gets back down here at the 45 level. Because the biotechs usually run up for the rest, last part of the year. Okay. So trending, remember everything is always trending. Maps um, for um, non-early warning alert folks, there will be a maps offering coming out in November. If you are an early warning alert person, uh, you have received a, an email that basically gives you a deep discount for the uh, replacement service called maps. And also there is a recording that talks specifically about that. So, uh, uh, but, if, but if you're not one of those folks, we're gonna be inviting you to join us in the very near future. We are in the October, November time frame where things tend to go turn around. Did you see gold get whacked today? Gold got absolutely beat to death today. Um, and so I wanna go back here and just, uh, hey, we're doing a last chance special probably through around Thanksgiving. Uh, if you have been wanting to try the uh, Active Trend Trading Premium service, you can get on it now for 40%. There will be a price uh, increase going into the new year. You go to this website, here's the password, bonus, and it's all caps. So uh, please join us. I you know, uh, suggest so come and give us a try for, for uh, you know, and again, there's no obligations. Uh, you can stay a month, you can stay. Uh, we have people who've been on, on board since the very beginning. And one of the things I do commit to everybody is I'd never raise your uh, 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 premiums as long as you stay active with your premiums. So, hey, ne looking forward to next year, 2019, year completion. Uh, we'll be going up in, a, in about a half hour with the premium uh, um, uh, next, uh, the final hour. Hey, remember this weekend, guys, as you go out to make it a great weekend. Monday is Veterans Day. Mon Mon Monday is um, Veterans Day. Please, um, you know, just remember, thank a vet. So have a great weekend. Aloha, trade well, and prosper. And, you know, again, thank a vet. So God bless everybody. Hey, John, yeah, John, if you will go to the website, uh, that those emails went out this morning and have gone out to everybody. But if you'll go to the Active Trend Trading Wins web website, let me pull it up for you really quickly. Uh, bum, bum, bum. You can always, you know, if you don't get the emails, you can always go and find the uh, 
Um, you go to the on the radar place. This was this is the members uh, uh, um, uh, dashboard. Go to on the radar. That sucks. Somehow I had a bunch of uh, videos deleted from my Vimeo this week, and uh, I I I didn't do it. You know, so and so um, anyway, here is where you get the uh, uh, final hour right here. Sign up there, and if it says eleven a.m. Uh, Well, it should say actually 12 a.m. And it may be the, they haven't done the adjustment, Steve, uh, with the uh, uh, daylight savings time. But you register here and, um, and in case you need to sign up for it. So with that, again, I bid everybody good day. Okay. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Aloha.